What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Thursday and we are going to see what EA have given us for today and hopefully see if they've already upgraded the live cards uh, from the Europa League final. Congrats to Sevilla. Who did you support in the final? Who did you want to win in the final and why? Let me know down below nothing too crazy in store so we'll ignore the store for now do you want to be able to afford to complete new sbcs and test out new players if so visit u7 buy to buy your foot 23 coins they are cheap fast and reliable and make sure to use my code nep at checkout for six percent off and let's see what else ea have given us today we get an auto claim on the 50 xp love that Come on, EA. Hook us up on a Thursday. What have we got? We've got... Ooh, Serie A season... Team of the season swaps is here. So for those of you that were just short of the level 30 XP, you can now go and get it. Win 8, play 15. Daily login upgrade, one time. Marquee matchups, which I guess we're going to have. Serie A moments, earn five stars in that. Uh, swaps challenge 8 and swaps challenge 9. Very nice indeed, EA. And then nothing else there. I'm still two away from the 11 league one pack there let's go and have a look at the spcs as well so we have got oh jonathan icone and lucas that's quite that's they they both looked off the face of it quite nice as well which is quite nice you know it's uh it's only two segments each as well, which is quite nice. I'm, just, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. There's some XP for me. Maybe I'll get to level 25 uh, before. Let's go and have a look at what other SBCs we've got. Of course, we're going to have ourselves some... Ooh, Nicholas Jackson, Player of the Month. Damn, he looks 89 rated. I think they've given him like a huge upgrade. Um, Marquee matchups for the XP... What have you got? Auxir versus Lenz, Valladolid against Hetafe, both real nice, cheap and easy. Roma against Spezia Calcio, also nice and easy. United versus City. I'll tell you something, guys. Because of this SBC, United and City players are about to go through the roof. Always happens. It always happens. Go and check your clubs. If you've got any tradable cards from United or City, go and pop them open. No, don't pop them open. Go and pop them on the trade pile. And uh, tell me how much you make from it. Tell me how much. So, Nicholas Jackson, four-star, four-star. I think he's a silver card as a base card, isn't he? High-low work rate, six foot one. Can play left mid cam, center forward, and striker. Good pace, good shooting, good physicals. Decent passing for a striker. Dribbling's a bit meh. All right, what is this? One segment. I'm saying an 84 for this. No more than that. Ah. Oh. It's like a fake 83, isn't it? It's like a fake 83. It's an 83 rated squad, but you do need two 85 rated players in there. I still fight. I kind of feel like that's all right. He looks like a quite a fun card, to be fair. Uh, we have got, guys, Icone. He has got four star, four star, right wing and right mid only. Perfect pace. Stamina, strength, and aggression are nice. Is these other stats are all right. He's got flare trait outside the foot shot trait, which is quite nice. He's four star, four star. And then we've got Lucas Paqueta, five star, four star, high, high work rates. Can play cam, center mid, and center forward. This is one of those cards. Outside the foot shot trait is nice. This is one of those cards where the chem style is really important depending on where you play them. But if if he gets the boost, if he gets to a 92, he's going to be absolutely crazy. Because he's not great at the moment. But that plus two everywhere makes the world of difference on cards that are already so well-rounded. Because if you think about it, it takes him to 90 shooting, 87 pace, 92 pass, 95 dribbling, 84 defending, and 90 physical. That would be mad on a five-star, four-star Premier League Brazilian. And because of that, I feel like he's going to be far more expensive 
than Icone. Although Icone being French, you need an 84 rated plus a team of the season and an 86 rated with two 87 rated cards. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that because he doesn't get a massive benefit of a plus two because he only would gain one sprint speed and no agility. So only two, you know, it, it kind of like... It's, it's still a, it would still be a nice upgrade on him, to be fair. It would still be a nice upgrade. And Icone is... So Icone was an 84 and the 86 were two 87s. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Aketa is an 86 and an 88 rated squad. That is quite wild. That is quite wild. I do, like, as per usual, especially when it comes to EA, they have priced these cards as if they've been upgraded, not as if they're due to be upgraded. Um, so we've got three new players. What other SBCs have we got? Just the marquee matchups. So Jackson is 33k. I think this is cool. I mean, these are both upvoted, which is quite interesting. Yeah, Paqueta at 200k. Iconi at 110k. It's not too bad, to be fair. It's not too bad. It's so easy to make fodder these days. It really is. Um, what's his inform saying? So his inform's only 18k. Also five star, four star. A, f a fair whack worse. And of course, as I say, this Paqueta with the chance of getting upgraded. Um, in terms of where to play him, I think you've got to put him in that cam, right? With the outside, the foot shot trait, the flare trait, the five star, four star. And for that, you either go with the engine to get that agility and balance up and that passing up. You could go with the maestro. The agility and balance isn't the best here. You don't really want to boost that shot power though, do you? These days, these days. Normally, I'm all about boosting like shot power and long shots because I, I thought it used to be so valuable until we learned that actually 89 or lower shot power, if somebody has the outside the foot shot trait, is just broken for travellers. Now, if you don't sweat Travellers like that, if you're not that kind of person that sits there trying to like just abuse every game mechanic, then shot power is perfect for you. And actually, Maestro is probably a really good card because, yeah, a good chem style. If a card like this got a plus two across the board, he would be genuinely broken. And, and it is one of those. It is one of those where I sit there and I think, if a, what would a 92 Paqueta, five star, four star, with plus two on all these stats be on the market, would it be more expensive than 200,000 coins? I kind of think it would. Look at that. He's comparative to Zinedine Zidane. Compared to his 97, he's got same physical. Let, let's, let's pretend Paqueta gets a plus two. He'd have one more pace, same dribbling, three more defending, two more physical, four less passing and two less shooting. That's mad. Now this Zidane, of course, is five star, five star. But this Zidane is 3.5 million coins. If we look at the 96 Zidane, who has a bit more pace, but Paqueta compared to this Zidane, who is 1.7 million coins, or compared to this Zidane, who's a million coins, this actually might just be a bargain, bargain card. They're comparing him to Modric team of the year, De Bruyne, De Bruyne team of the year, Bellingham team of the year. I, th I feel like they've given us an elite SBC here, guys, for a good price if he gets the upgrade. If he gets the upgrade. Um, and then Icone, guys, 100k on him. Of course, a bit of a pace merchant. So you you again go with that maestro. Gets his dribbling to being really, really tasty. He's four star, four star. What other Fiorentina cards have we got? Not a lot. Not a lot. That's that's a bit sad, actually. I mean, you can link him and Gonzalez together and just put Gonzalez on the left wing. But uh, because there's not many club links for him, I kind of feel like... I would have expected him to be a bit cheaper. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a bit like... Icone's a bit meh. It's a bit like... Is, is he really, like, going to replace your Alawaran or your, I don't know, Marcus Rashford or even your DRB if you've already got a DRB? Like, that DRB 94, more pace, more shooting, same passing, more dribbling, um, more positions, better links... Like, yeah, I, I, I feel like probably Icone is not quite the one. He definitely needs the upgrade. And even then, I still feel like a little bit overpriced. Whereas this Lucas Paqueta, I feel like is the one. And then we've got Jackson coming at 33k. Yeah, he was a silver card. That is a massive... 
I tell you what, for, for the first time, I feel like EA have actually done a solid on the player of the month here. Like normally his player of the month would be like an 84 or an 83 or an 82. Like like some of the Eredivisie player of the months have been, you know, Booth came in at an 82 for his per first player of the month. The fact that this Jackson is 89 rated, four star, four star, no traits, unfortunately. However, lengthy, if you're on new gen, pop a hawk on him. That's a, that is a really good card for really cheap. Um, yeah, his dribbling's a little bit heavy, and he doesn't have any good traits. But for thirty k, what do what are you what do you care about? You know, like like this is a one of those cards I think people would genuinely have good fun with. Uh, I do think Villarreal is six one as well, which is nice with high low work rates. See, he have high low work rates as a silver. He was three three. He was high low. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Villarreal have got uh, Chuck Vese. Oh, did I look at? Um, hold on, let me go back to. Uh, let me go back to. Um, I kind of. I might have just been looking at um, forwards for Fiorentina. I was. Oh, I mean, still, yeah. Fiorentina have been done a bit dirty this year. To be to be fair, EA they got a couple of decent defenders from back in earlier in the game. That Duncan Amrabat, meh, yeah. Uh, Villarreal, however, have got team of the season Chukvese. Gerald Moreno's a bit meh. Pau Torres and Foyth. Although you missed out on Foyth if you haven't got him in your club already. But there, there's, there's a couple of links there at the very least for Jackson, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I, I, I quite like him for his price. I think he's half decent. Now we have got... Um, a new loading screen. Which is the same three from yesterday. It's going to be Rafael Leal, Paolo Dybala and Kvaric Kvalia. With five-star skill moves on Kvaric Kvalia and Rafael Leal. Maradona coming in with that 98 pace and 98 dribbling is mad. Dybala with 99 dribbling and 95 passing. And Leal with 99 pace and 93 shooting. Every, every team of the season so far, EA have actually surprised me with how good the players have been. And, and that stayed true to the League One team of the season. And I couldn't believe how cheap some of the players are off the back of that, especially Fofana and Medina, who obviously get that club link together. Fofana at 46k, okay. Uh, so, no, I was going to say, okay, there's, you know, some things wrong with it. I just, I just don't think there is. Four-star, four-star, on a shadow, lengthy, crazy card. And Medina as well. Three-star, three-star, as far as the centre-back goes, on a shadow, lengthy, 96 rate. I, like... It is genuine a case of if this guy was just called Marquinhos, had a Brazilian badge and the PSG badge, but had everything else absolutely identical, he would be 400,000 coins. But because his name is Medina and he's not like popular, he's 90,000 coins. So I feel like we're going to see a very similar sort of situation with the Serie A team of the season where we're just going to get cracked out players, which would be great for me, eh? That is going to be the end of the video, though, for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, and for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.